Hi, my name is Sydney, and this week I'll be going over Unit 5 of our History of Psychology course, where we learned about intelligence testing and how psychology was beginning to be applied in society versus just a, a study or research, um, which it was at the time, and how intelligence testing was the key way that psychology began to be applied in a society. And in my opinion, one of the most impactful individuals in this movement was Galton. He necess didn't necessarily have the biggest impact on our current modern view of intelligence because a lot of his research was biased and his sampling was flawed. Um, however, his social impact was pretty great. So he took a lot of his beliefs and views um, on intelligence off of the Darwin influence so that um, we evolved over time and those who were more intelligent were more likely to succeed. And he had this belief and he wanted to study how some people were less intelligent than others and why that was not as desirable of an evolutionary trait. Um, and he coined the term eugenics, that um, certain races or certain people were genetically, intellectually inferior, and that they really shouldn't reproduce because obviously if they're not in intelligent, then they're not gonna survive or succeed. Um, and he did a lot of studies or a lot of observations of people um, like Africans and Anglo-Saxons and difference between European countries um, and it seemed to give him further evidence supporting his racial discrimination. Galton had a lot of influence on future psychologists such as Goddard, who took what Galton came up with in terms of eugenics and, um, and genetics playing a part in intelligence and took Binet's intelligence testing, translated it from Binet's original test and brought it to America. And then he started to apply that intelligence test, um, which is the point of this chapter is applied psychology, apply it to test immigrants on their intelligence. At the time in, in America, immigration was booming. So it went from a decent amount of immigrants to now a lot more people coming into the country and it became a concern. And so they decided with all this new knowledge and, and belief that uh, certain races or whatever had an impact on intelligence that hmm, let's apply an intelligence testing on immigrants so that we can kind of weed out some of the lesser people coming into the country. And so Goddard went to Ellis Island in New York and kind of set up a immigrant screening process and it had a huge impact on how many people were not allowed into the country or deported um, based on his intelligence testing, which was kind of rudimentary and like shouldn't have really been applied at the time because it was still being researched and studied and he kind of just took this rudimentary intelligence testing based off of very biased beliefs and started changing the course of people's lives, um, which was celebrated in America because it seemed like a, like a good thing. Um, and America was already really sensitive to, to immigrants and wanting to kind of limit the amount of people in the country. But these two people specifically had such a great impact on future generations and future beliefs so much that, in my opinion, they really, they really skyrocketed the, the likelihood of Nazism happening um, because of eugenics, because they had this belief that certain people were more intelligent, better off, more well-equipped based off of Galton's and Goddard's research and studies, um, which is just, it's an interesting little domino effect that neither Beignet or Darwin really intended. And that's, that's all that I've got. So thanks.